Week of Easter, Thursday. Do you only want what you deserve? The Lord is righteous in all his ways and holy in all his works. Psalm 145, verse 17. Dearly beloved, the ways and works of the Lord God Almighty are often points of criticism in the thoughts and words of fallen man. But God is righteous in all his ways. He is just and always wills, does, and permits what is perfectly right. God is holy, that is, he is pure and without any uncleanness. So what happens when an unclean, sinful man lodges a complaint against the Son of God? Listen with the ears of your soul. But answering, he said to one of them, Friend, I am doing you no wrong. Did you not agree with me for a denarius? Take what is yours and go. I desire to give to this last man the same as to you. Am I not allowed to do what I desire with my own things? Or is your eye evil because I am good? So the last will be first and the first last. Matthew 20 verses 13 through 16. The law-oriented man who works hard and expects the wages of his works and nothing more also expects that no one else be given any more than what's been worked for and earned. He justifies himself on the basis of his deeds and wants that doctrine to be taught and practiced throughout the church. This man, while within the congregation, is outside the kingdom of heaven. The response of Jesus? It's as if he said, Friend, you have been in the church since infancy. The promise I made to you is the same that I make to everyone, even that which I will make to a certain thief on a cross in the last moments of his life here on this earth. It is the promise of pardon, eternal life, and salvation. During all the hours of the day and at the end of the day, each one within the church has this same promise, no more, no less. It is the promise I first made to you when I called you by the gospel and brought you into the church by the Holy Spirit. But you have grown to despise my word of grace. You have rejected the good news and have grown in pride, haughtiness, and arrogance. Consequently, you become so bold as to criticize me for what I do with my own things. Even now, friend, I am doing you no wrong. You desire me to give you and all others nothing more than what is deserved by the toil of your hands? You have your daily wage under the law, and you are sowing discontent in the congregation. You will stand before me on judgment day, and you will receive exactly what you deserve using the law as the standard of judgment. Now, as a prelude to what you will hear on that day, listen to me. Take what is yours and go. The Holy Spirit, by the hand of the Apostle Paul, wrote about this same situation infesting a congregation. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you, before whose eyes Jesus Christ was openly set forth as crucified? This only I want to learn from you. Did you receive the Spirit by works of the law? or by hearing with faith. Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now being made perfect by the flesh? Have you suffered so many things in vain, if it really is in vain? Does he who supplies the Spirit to you and works miracles among you do so by works of the law or by hearing with faith? For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse, for it is written, Cursed is every one who continues not in all things that are written in the book of the law to do them. Now, it is evident that no man is justified before God by the law, for the righteous shall live by faith. Galatians 3, 1 through 5, and verses 10 and 11. Prayer Lord Jesus, I shudder at the thought of my life apart from your grace. Grant that each day I may desire, have, and be content with your gifts of repentance and faith. Amen. 
hymn number 196, stanza 1. I am content, my Jesus liveth still, in whom my heart is pleased. He hath fulfilled the law of God for me, God's wrath he hath appeased. Since he in death could perish never, I also shall not die forever. I am content. <laughs> 